Old toy trains, little toy tracks, little boy toys coming from a sack, carried by a man dressed in white and red. Little boy, don't you think it's time you were in bed? I'm Susie Arioli, and I'm a professional musician. I sing in a band and play snare. Listen to the sky. When I began, it was the last heyday of having jazz clubs in Montreal. After I'd kind of uh, done experience with Stephen Barry and uh, doing his jam nights and stuff like that, which were really important for a new person, I was actually able to get over my fear of performing. Carried by a man dressed in white and red Little boy, don't you think it's time you were in bed by the time I met Jordan, I had left music because I thought the whole jazz scene was gross and the whole music thing, I, didn't, I wasn't interested at all. And I love jazz, I love these beautiful songs and I didn't think that they were being appreciated, so I split. We enjoyed playing with each other. There was a lack of uh, conflict, there was a lack of competitiveness, there was a lack of uh, one-upmanship, blah, 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 blah. It was like, this is not hard, this is nice. And so, of course, you keep doing it when it's pleasant. Do you have any ideas? Just want to do it again a couple of times? We just go through it a couple of times? When we find a song that we might be interested in sing in playing, I have to love the song and it has to love me back. Usually we play it over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's the only way to find out how you want to do it. And then you got to play it live. For heaven's sake, I didn't think that's what you would be doing. When we first made our first record, um, Factor gave us the money to make it because nobody wanted to produce us. So we did it by ourselves. We printed out 500 and they just disappeared. I mean, we weren't we were like selling millions of records, but my hometown was buying my record. That's, that was fantastic. My kind of jazz is more of a kind of a swing aesthetic where each song is totally different from the other. And it's not necessarily about putting a certain trademark on each song so that they sound homogenous. So our jazz is different in that it's very, very, very contained in a very small flower pot, but it gives really nice plant. That smile in your eyes. Everybody can sing exactly the same thing in their honest voice and be unique. So you don't have to change the timing of anything, you don't have to change the way you pronounce something. Just being yourself gives you this incredible clarity as an individual. Right. You mean like sound like natural? <laughs> um, Look into the sky. Yeah, stuff like that. It might, be, uh, it might sound more relaxed or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le jazz que je fais, c'est strictement en anglais. Alors c'est toujours été une surprise que ça fonctionne très bien. Uh, sur, radio, sur les ondes de Radio-Canada et uh, avec mes, mes publics. I mean, ma public est deux tiers France, francophone. Et c'est comme ça fait rien. Il uh, y a un marché ça, spécifique québécois qui n'est pas canadien. Fait que tu peux avoir une carrière ici à Québec et c'est ça que je suis en train de faire. You're my sugar, so sweet when we stir it up. Québec m'a influencé dans le sens que il avait une liberté de pouvoir faire ce que je fais pour pouvoir polir mon, mon truc.